Hello. Hi, thanks for having me here. Mm, yeah, nice to have you too. So basically, my name is Bada, and the purpose of this interview is basically to let you share your life and the struggles and the challenges you've had. Basically, just tell the people who are watching about who you are, and so they can learn and basically take something away from your story, basically. And so from coming from that, can you introduce yourself a little bit? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, my name is Ernest Reyes, and... Uh, I am 29 years old. I am the youngest son of six. Hmm. And originally, I am from the Philippines, hmm. but right now I'm currently employed and based here in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. Yeah. Um, I'm currently employed in one of the international schools here in Mon Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, which is the Mongol Bilik Oyun International School. Yeah. I don't know if you if you heard of that school before. Uh, I don't think I have, but yeah, so that's all good. Um, yeah. Okay, so, that's so you're from the Philippines. Tell us a little bit about your home countries because a lot of people in Mongolia don't really know about the Philippines. So, mm. Okay, so uh, geographically, um, Philippines is divided into three major um, islands. Ah, yeah. So are Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. Mm. So those are the three major islands of the Philippines. But um, Philippines also consists of more than 7,600 um, islands, including... Wow. that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. It's quite a lot, but that's why we are uh, known to have this, known to have a lot of, you know, um, natural tourist spots. Ah, yeah. And we also offer, you know, um, cheapest, um, you know, tourism expenses. Mm. That's why. Um, tourists love loves to you know visit Philippines because they said it's cheap uh, the cheapest uh, tourist spot oh, I see, I see. located in my place so yes yeah. hmm. okay um, and, okay you you keep going um, another is you know um, the climate you know um, yeah. the Philippines has a tropical um, tropical maritime climate we only have three seasons which is the hot, dry season, which is um, the tag in it. We call it in the Philippines, tag in it. It is like a summertime. Okay. And another is the rainy season, which is from um, May to November that time. Yeah. And also the last one is the cool, dry season. We don't consider it as um, winter time because, you know, we yeah. don't have snow and... Uh, so that's all about um, Philippines. Hmm. I see. Okay. Yeah. Um, personally, like I've never been to the Philippines, but in New Zealand, especially in the community that I live in, there's a lot of Filipino mm -hmm. people. And so like, yeah, I have a lot of friends that are from the Philippines and stuff like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so why Mongolia? Like how did, how did you end up coming to Mongolia? Hmm. Good question. Uh, Actually, I didn't choose Mongolia as my first um, overseas um, employment, you know? Yeah, reasonable. <laughs> yes, I posted my CV like randomly to different um, international schools uh, around Asia. Hmm. But then um, my niece, you know, my niece um, posted one ring from this um, school, this specific school here in Ulaanbaatar. And I messaged her that, oh, I'm interested. Can you, uh, can you um, send my contacts to the person like uh, who can talk, um, who I can talk with for this oh, yeah. hiring position? I so see. that's the process started oh. from my needs, actually. Yeah. Oh. So how long have you been here? I've been there, I mean. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, I uh, began teaching here um, 2019, last year. Oh, okay. So okay. Yeah, here in Mongolia, September last year, so a um, few days later, I'll be celebrating my first anniversary here in Mongolia. So oh, it's wow. kind of exciting. Yeah. So you're an English teacher in Mongolia, and I know yeah, like yeah. the Philippines, in the Philippines, you all, like I know you speak uh, Tagalog and Visaya, Visaya is it? Yes, Tagalog, Visayas. Actually, we have, the, we have a lot of dialects, you know, oh, okay, okay. Like in, every, um, in every region. In every provinces, we have different dialects. So, you know, Philippines is like multilingual when it comes to dialect, you know. Hmm. But our 
our uh, national language is Tagalog. You're right. I see, yeah. But you also speak English. There, like a lot of people from Philippines speak English pretty fluently. I feel like, or is that mm, yes? I heard yeah. about that. And so teaching English at like a a country that speaks a completely different language, like what kind of experience is that? Oh, um, honestly speaking, um, English is not my specialization when it comes to my bachelor's degree. Oh, yeah. You know? Um, I graduated as um, elementary education, All so right. we were called like generalist. So we uh, can teach like science, math, and Filipi Filipino uh, subjects. So uh, it's quite challenging for me to teach English itself or alone mm -hmm. because it's not my specialization, and um, I'm not. A native speaker of English, so English is only my second language, yes. same as you. Hmm. So it's for me, it's quite challenging to teach, but um, I'm trying my best to like help the students, the Mongolian students, to like do or um, develop their um, English speaking proficiency. Yeah. So yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I see. So yeah, I here's yeah when you're teaching like English, like I'm also like second. And if I'm like, sometimes, you know, I'll try to like teach some people English and it, it's like, yeah, it can be very difficult because like the process itself, because you don't understand it fully yourself. So trying to teach something like that is, yeah, I can find it. Right, exactly. Yeah. Actually, we don't teach the four skills because in English we have these four skills, right? The reading, the writing, um, listening and speaking. We only yeah. focus on speaking. So uh -huh. we are teaching the kids um, the basic everyday conversations. Oh, yeah. Uh, because there, uh, there is a separate teacher for the grammar, for the grammar and vocabulary. But um, here in um, my school, um, we, are, we only teach um, speaking. Oh, uh, yeah. That's actually really the good. Basic mm. Yes. Like, one of the, that was one of the biggest things I actually struggled with when I came here. Because, you know, mm -hmm. I would come here. And I, I did like did English and at my school, right? So I knew how to read. I actually knew how to read better than like people who actually were born here. I can read, mm -hmm. write, but I just couldn't speak because I never practiced it. So actually, that's actually really good that that's happening. Yeah. Um. So, like, you lived here for you say you're gonna almost you're getting to your one year anniversary in Mongolia. What are like the differences between Philippines and Mongolia? What are the, the big things you're seeing? Oh. Um... Uh, there are only two major differences between Philippines and Mongolia, and that is the weather and the food. Hmm. Yeah. For me, that's the only major, major yeah. difference between the two I countries mm. uh, from my home country and my, uh, from Mongolia. Mm. Um, I can say uh, climate because here in Mongolia, you have four cli uh, seasons, four seasons, right? Yeah, four like, distinct seasons, yeah. And I am so proud of myself because I survived the winter. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I searched Mongolia, especially Ulaanbaatar, and Ulaanbaatar is the coldest city in the world, right? Yep, sound of all right, yeah. So I'm so proud of myself because I survived the negative 35 um, degrees during winter. Yeah, definitely. It's really, it's really the major difference because um, in my 28 years of existence in the Philippines, I never experienced winter, you know. Yeah. And last year, last winter, I was like, oh, please, I can do this. I can survive the, mm. how many months, I, I don't know, mm. but how many months is the winter, so. And also the food, you know, yeah. um, in the back, back home, we always have um, this, uh, greens, vegetable, and seafood every meal. Yeah. So we have three meals a day. We only uh, we always have rice always. and I food and greens every meal. Mm. But here in Mongolia, it's really different. It's quite challenging for me on my um, third months. First three months for me, it's challenging. But now I'm starting to like the food of mm. um, yeah. Yeah, yes. so. definitely. So that's the major differences. Um, culture. Because we're both Asians, Philippines and Mongolia are Asians yeah. also. On um, traditions, it's um, most likely the same. 
for example, like accepting visitors um, in, in your house, it's really the same um, way of accepting visitors in the Philippines. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, I definitely understand. Like, um, I have, uh, like, I, as I said, like, I have a lot of Filipino friends and we're like talking mm -hmm. about our lives back home. It sounds like kind of similar, the culture is very similar, but the big thing we like defer on is what you said, like the food and, uh, yeah. and the weather basically. Yeah. Because it's the real thing, you know? Yeah. And considering how hot the Philippines can be, like when going the weather must be a huge. Oh, it's, it's hot. It's scorching hot, you know? Yeah. But it's, it's okay, but um, I mean, Ulaanbaatar or Mongolia, when it's cold, it's colder. And when it's hot, it's hotter. You yeah, know? It's, it's very up and down. Very hot, dry cold, it's totally different from the Philippines. Hmm. It, in the Philippines, it's hot and humid, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's okay. hot and dry, cold yeah. and dry. Yeah, it's never humid. <laughs> yeah, because there's no water around, man. It's like there's no sea, right. it's like a river, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. Well, um, um, so do you miss the Philippines? Mm, 100%. I miss my family, especially my mom. I miss the food. I always say food, you know? Yeah. And uh, yeah, I miss everything. I miss the, um, the smell of the Philippines, I can say. <laughs> the smell, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely like a distinct thing where you, there's just something about your home country that just always sticks with you, I feel like it. And yeah. yeah, like for me, like it's the same thing for me for Mongolia as well. Like it's just that feeling of being in Mongolia. It's like really warm, like the family and the whole energy behind it is just very good. Yeah, just the home, just the home, you know. That's yes, home. Yeah. Oh, family. Are you, do you have, do you, did you go back? Did you visit back or are you going to plan to or anything like that? Oh yeah, um, sadly we have this summer, supposed to be summer vacation on from July to, I mean, yeah, July, August. Mm. Uh, we, uh, we're supposed to go home, but you know, we have this COVID-19 pandemic, so yeah. everything's canceled. So yeah, I had no choice but to um, enjoy the Mongolian summer and go out and discover Mongolia even better, even more. Mm. So that's what I did during my um still pretty summer. good. Mm. Actually, I visited um six provinces just this summer. Oh nice. You are, you are excluded the uh, excluded the uh, uh, previous um uh trips. Like uh during winter I went to two provinces. So I was like visited eight provin Mongolian provinces. Oh, okay. So you got more a good, good within job. one year. <laughs> Um, so wait, are you there by yourself or how, are you like there with family or? I just by myself. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Um, so you, you ha is it like hard making friends or do you have any friends that you made or how's that working out? Um, my first, um, my first, uh, month was hard, you know, especially the uh, language barrier. Yeah. <clears throat> then, um, uh, there is also a Mongolian, um, uh, guys out there that willing to befriend foreign um, uh, individuals. So mm -hmm. as of this moment, I have like 20 or 25 Mongolian local friends. So oh, I'm quite happy that uh, because of them, I can uh, um, experience more about Mongolian uh, traditions, cultures, places, especially. Yeah. I see. So the friends you have, they can speak English pretty well, I'm guessing. Mm, they um they can speak pretty well but some of them are average some of them are good okay yeah you're still able to like communicate with them yeah and i'm also willing to help them you know mm, exactly it's your job it's like half your job <laughs> it's a win-win situation oh you help me speak mongolian i will help you speak english okay? exactly. so i know some i know several uh, mongolian language like the basic one like Baifla, that, that means, yeah. you know. Yeah, I understood what that, man. It's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, uh, maybe this, um, if, if, maybe if there are any Filipinos watching or people who are, who are from the Philippines watching, like, do you have any advice for them to who want to, for those young people who want to study abroad? 
like you, basically. Oh, um, I'm, I'm going to give ad advice, uh, not just for them, for the young people, yeah. but also this will also apply to myself hmm. because uh, I believe I still need to learn. Oh, yeah, definitely. Always take risk, right? Hmm. So uh, be, um, because this has uh, always been my dream to, you know, uh, study and work or live in a, uh, native English countries, not just in the U.S., but um, in any other English um, countries. Hmm. Do you, like, expose yourself to um, English-speaking environment, you know? That's very important. Yeah, that's definitely you need to, like, practice it, uh, practice it every day because um, I myself, I started learning or studying English for, like, 20 years hmm. because in the Philippines, um, we offer English subject from first grade. Yeah. So um, um, I can advise that we need to uh, expose ourselves into, um, yeah, speaking, uh, English speaking environment and um, take risk and trust yourself if no one do. And that's it. Hmm. Wonderful advice, actually. So I asked you if you want to have any questions for me. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, what can I ask you? <laughs> um, you're, you're a graduating high school student, right? Yeah. Um, you're living in the U.S. or? I, I live in New Zealand. So I forgot to mention that if you didn't. I live in New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm, with your family? Uh, I live with my mom. Oh, that's good. Nice. Uh, that's my, uh, also, one of my, that's also written in my list, the countries that I want to visit. First uh, country that I want to visit place. is Switzerland, you know, that's... Ah, yeah. yeah. Switzerland, New Zealand, and Canada. Oh, yeah, you got the really beautiful countries there. <laughs> yeah, but it's quite hard to, you know, apply for, mm. uh, or, you know, the permanent residency and immigrations and... Yeah. Definitely. Tell me more about that one. I definitely agree with that one. But yeah, um, if you want to come to New Zealand, there's a huge, especially like where I live, there's like a huge Filipino community. And yeah, I have uh, I have two friends there. One is married to a New Zealand um, uh, local. Yeah, is that what you call? <laughs> I call them Kiwis. Yeah. Oh, okay. And one is uh, employed uh, barber, um, working in a barber shop. So. Oh yeah. Okay, so you have some connections here. That's good. Yeah, definitely. New Zealand is definitely a good place to come if you want. If you want to, if you, as you say, you want that English speaking environment. This is a, This is one of the best places you can go. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Ernest, for your time. It was a really nice interview I with you, and it was really lovely to hear your experience in Mongolia because it's re we don't really get mm -hmm. that. I don't really get to have the option. If I'm hearing experience, it's always from a Mongolian, but hearing someone outside perspective on Mongolia, it's really interesting. So oh. thank you so much for your time. And right. Thank you so much. So it's my pleasure to talking to you because, you know, I always listen to your interviews. Thank you so much. Um, we, you know, whenever I saw that you have new interviews, I was like, I spending my time just to listen to it all. So it's my pleasure to uh, talk with you and. Yeah. You know, thank you so much. Thank you so much Bye. Okay. Have a nice night.